Okay, welcome back, guys. So there's I forgot to kind of add wrinkles around this region. Remember, we added some wrinkles around here. So let's just get that back in again. Uh, okay, let's just do this with symmetry turn on. It's not even that visible. It's not so visible though. Turn up symmetry for now. Uh, probably that should be fine. I would like to add some. I'd like to add some imperfection to the skin. Like some. Skin pore, not skin pore, I mean, um, pimple detail around this. Though I still have, I think I'm going to, uh, let's see, um, where is the, yeah, this base pore, I think I'm going to duplicate this base pore. I'm going to have a duplicate of this base pore. So I'm going to duplicate it. And I'll rename this to. Let me rename this. Rename this to. Inverse. Inverse base pore. So this particular one should be the inverted skin pore. Just trying to look see how it is. <clears throat> this is obviously this is obviously too intense. We kind of add another an extra layer of what's another add another extra layer of detailing around this. Which I would definitely like to keep but but it shouldn't but it shouldn't be as intense as this though. Me, let me see. Let me get a closer look on this. Trying to figure out how I'm going to keep this, and there's no way to kind of tie this again. I think I just need to create a new one and then tile this on top of it. Let me see which, which particular. Let me see if I still have on the surface on the surface noise. Yeah, it's still in there. So the actual map I use is still in there, so that's cool. With the tile, you know, so I'm just going to re re redo this. I'm going to delete this new. So I like to keep this imperfection in here, the, <coughs> the inverted version of this. So. I would delete. I would delete. Delete this. So I'd like to have another one, the inverted version of it. So I'm just going to create a new layer. I name this to inverted. Inverted. Pause. Okay. Uh, once we we'll need to do is to hide. Let me turn off recording for now. I need to hide the XYZ pause. And I need to hide this base skin pause also. 
inside all of those for now. Make sure this inverted pose is active. Then I will go to surface noise. Go to edit. So the only thing I need to do now is just to there should be an invert here, Philip H. Is it even flipping? It's not even flipping anything. It's not really giving me the inverted look. Nah, it's not giving me the inverted look. But that's completely fine. The only thing we need to change here is the scale, alpha scale, yes. So 0 0.006 now. Let's see if we can get something a bit lower. Maybe 0 0.00. Let's use four. Click OK. Probably needs to max this out in some region, so why is it even affecting? You're not supposed to have not supposed to be why is it I don't is affecting this region why is it affecting it let me max out let me do, do this again let me start by maxing out let's see why why is this why are these parts being affected same issue i had previously i'm having the same issue now also why why i can't tell you why is the max <coughs> I have no idea why the maxing isn't working. No. Great. That is just great. Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, and I don't want to use the inflate. Really, don't want to use the inflate. Let's try this marks by noise. Okay, you can see how tiny that is. Okay, let's max out the lips. Do I'm not? I have, I have no choice now, but to just use the to just use the inflates. So you have to use the inflate now. So I'll just do light handed on the eye. So 
same also probably same also for the year go a bit light handed on the year But the only difference is that we actually have control over this now, so probably just one of the good, the good part about this is that we can actually control where we want this to be. So there's some, can do that. There's some level of control over this. With this weird line around, so these weird tie label lines around this, which I did not notice before. I'm not too sure if they'll be very obvious though. But let's just let's just carry on. Let's see what. I don't know if they'll be very obvious. Okay. Let's see. Now let's inflate this deformation, deformation, deformation. Okay. Let's try something around zero point one. Okay, that's a, that's a good one. Let me solo this. Nah, it doesn't really matter that much. Let me close up view on this. You can see some little skin imperfection on top of this. Should probably turn. Uh, if I turn this. <clears throat> okay, let's. Let's intensify intensify this a bit more so then we can now use the we can now use the layer slider to kind of tune this down. And that's way so aggressive. Let's it's at the value of zero point five. <coughs> Yeah, this is it's obviously noisy, but that's fine. You can always dial do now we begin to dial this down even more. So please now we have the uh uh I need to exclude I need to exclude this lower lip a bit more. Okay, I think that should be fine. Then let's just let's just use a value of one. Ah, uh, one is just too aggressive. Zero point eight. 0.8 should work just fine. 
then we can go to the layers in here turn this on turn this base pause on and the detection xyz on also then obviously we need to dial this inverted one down just be too aggressive let's get a closer look on there now we can see some of it speaking through so if i should turn that off and on you can see you can see a very subtle difference in there Yeah, very subtle difference in there, which is fine. So it feels like <coughs> they feel like it's all over the place, but that's completely fine. Just a very subtle height change in there that will make some difference. Most especially, most especially on the nose region. Most especially on the nose region. So that would be just fine. The body also should have something similar. Though the only thing the, the only thing there is that you have to get a really closer look to it. Probably let's put this at the value of 0 0.35. Let's see. 0 0.35. Most of these details are going to be sorted out though when we are sorted with scattering bots. It's nice to know that they are actually in there. It's nice to know that they are actually in there. Okay. So I'm looking at this from a, from a fair enough distance, kind of figure out if I can actually see some of those details. render this from this view let's see okay yeah this would work just fine to break up the surface flex like something else Okay, everything is turned on. This should be just fine for. Okay, no, no, we can see another ultra level of imperfection to this. I'm going to create another layer. Probably already have so much layers happening in here, but that's fine. I name this imperfection. This should just be like some kind of pimple layer on top of this. But let's just let's wait to see for this pipe first. Very important. Okay. So carrying on. Carrying on. Uh for this I need to turn off symmetry. So then I'm going to use the standard brush. Going to be using some flip normal imperfection brushes for this. So, flip skin. There are some imperfections. We have holes here. Where is that imperfection? Okay, spots. Yes, yeah, spots. Imperfection. Let's start with let's start with the lower one. I can either use this on spray mode or drag. Let's let's see how this is looks on drag rec.
It's actually there, but not very intense. Let's get something <clears throat> a bit more intense. Now it's pulling out the skin. I don't want this pulling out the skin, so we we'll just go over to Peria feed 10, maybe even 9. Anyone should walk 45. You can see the imperfection in there. Maybe too intense. Or maybe that's just fine. So I want to have this is this is supposed to be in some strategic regions and not just anywhere, most especially on, under the eye. So I'm going to take some this down. Should we have symmetry turned on for this? Maybe too low. It's tiny, tiny details around the eye. Let's get this on spray, color spray instead. Zoom this down. Why is it pulling up mesh? Seems to be pulling up my mesh. Everything's where it's supposed to be. Let's turn off this mouse for this. Why is this pulling out my mesh? No, definitely not. Ish, so much. I think drag rate is just a better way to go. No, oh, it's too much. Turn down the intensity. Take this down. Something similar in here, also. Okay, yeah, this should be fine. I think we need some more under the neck region. Where the beard should be going out from, okay, yeah, something like this should be fine. Maybe a little something around here. Some large ones around the nose. Yeah, something like that should be fine. So, I think this should be fine. Though you can always spend more time and then go in there and then go in there to make this even better. But, I think this will work just fine for now. 
this work just fine for now so i'm just going to leave this as it is then the next lesson we're going to be working on working on the working on the lips so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next lesson so bye for now